the following video contains terrible accents. And that's about it. So if you're offended by that kind of thing, you've been warned. Now enjoy the video, mate. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, this is going to take some getting used to. So I've got a question for you guys. Have any of you ever heard the voice of God? Anyone? Anyone? You? Okay, awesome. Personally, I have a difficult time listening to God because sometimes I can't tell the difference between my own thoughts and what God is trying to tell me. And it's difficult for me to listen to the Lord because I'm thinking about so many different things. Like what I did yesterday, what I have to do today, what do I have to do tomorrow, what do I have to do next week, and what am I going to do for my life? I mean, sometimes I get lucky and I just end up going where God wanted me to be in the first place. But other times I feel like Dora the Explorer and the TV audience isn't helping me to get through the forest and over the river and to the castle. Vamanos! And I know I should be taking these big life decisions like, you know, what should I do for my future, up with the Lord. But every time I try and pray for these things, it usually ends up like this. So, you know, I'll just be getting all ready for prayer and everything. And then... Tony. Tony! Yes? Listen to me, Tony. You must go and join a seminary so you can become a priest and minister to the world. Really? Yes. yes. Really. Huh. Well, that was easy. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in. Hold up a moment. You call this into the priesthood, Tony. It's to the married life. What? But the other guy just said... I know what he know said, what he Tony, said, Tony, but trust me, your true calling isn't to the religious life. You should find yourself a nice girl, have a couple of kids, and settle down. You know, that actually does sound pretty nice. But Tony, the world needs priests, and people have been telling you for your entire life it's where you belong. But is it truly where he wants to be? Of course it is. He's totally priest material. Wait a minute. You guys can talk to each other? Well, yeah, of course we can. Okay, this is starting to get weird. Well, then go ahead and pick one of us already. Yes, Tony. Let our voices guide you. Where do you truly feel called? I mean, you're both really good choices, but I think I'm going to have to go with... Whoa, Tony. Hold your horses, dude. Who are you? I'm the decision that's going to change your life. Well, not exactly change per se, but hear me out. Two words. Single life. Single life? Yeah, man. You're already single, so why not keep this party train rolling? <laughs> I don't think so, man. Okay, okay, I get it. But check this out, dude. If you stay single, you can volunteer in the community and in the church and help bring others closer to Christ. He can do that with us too, you know. Yeah, true, true. But your positions have other responsibilities, like taking care of a parish or of a family. Being single for life allows someone to commit to taking care of others all the time. You know, I actually really like the sound of that. Ah, uh, Tony, Tony, no, don't do a single, single <laughs> life. I'm sorry, you guys, but I think I'm going to have to go with... Tony. Yes? Listen to me. I am the one who will guide you. Oh. oh okay, then. Well, what can I do? How can I serve you? Go and make a sandwich. What? Go and make a turkey sandwich with cheddar cheese on whole wheat bread. You're not the voice of God, are you? No, this is the voice of your stomach. It's almost lunchtime. Okay, fine, we'll go to the kitchen and make a sandwich later, but right now I'm really just trying to figure out how I can serve the Lord. Well, that's easy. Go be a priest. The world needs more priests. Nah, get married. The world needs good fathers. Stay single, dude. Go and serve the world. Sandwich. Uh, this is so confusing. How do I know which one to pick? 
Stop! How am I supposed to listen to the voice of God with all this noise? Huh. Maybe that's it. So maybe the problem wasn't that I didn't know which voice to listen to. Maybe it was that I was just listening in the wrong way. Mother Teresa once said, In the silence of our heart, God speaks. If you go to God in prayer and silence, God will speak to you. So instead of opening myself up to all the voices in my head, I need to try and clear away all those distracting thoughts. So then I might be able to listen to the true voice of God. And it isn't just in silent prayer that you can hear the Lord. You can hear him in music. You can hear him in a rosary. You can hear him while you're taking a walk. Or you can even hear him when you're having a discussion with a friend. Right, Hedwig? So no matter whatever it is you're praying for, whether it's for guidance, for understanding, or even for someone else, know that the Lord is trying to speak with you. And you just need to determine how he's attempting to reach you in your life. How has the Lord spoken to you? Leave a comment and be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. We'll see you all again next week. Until then, peace out, dudes. And we're...